Greetings, I'm Dr. P, the host of SpaceGeek.org. Why am I inside an inflatable vessel? That will become clear later. I'm an astrophysicist. I don't practice pontification anymore. One day, I walked into the chairman's office and I said, I quit. He said, that's impossible. Astrophysicists are lining up for this job, any job. I told him, I'm insane. I must be insane. Why did I really quit? In part, really, I am insane. And another part is that I got saturated with the academic world, which runs on the principle of I scratch your back, you scratch my back, publish, perish. You accept my grant, I won't reject your grant. This inflatable boat is a metaphor for knowledge, which is drifting in the 21st century. Science is part of knowledge. Not all of knowledge, but part of it. And science is being assaulted on one front by creationists and in another by scientists themselves. Scientists that are trying to reconcile science and religion. And creationists who are denying, denying evolution, the Big Bang Theory, and that have no idea of what the scientific process is. And yet, they use the fruits of science. They take antibiotics, they use their car, they turn on the light. All that, for example, the principle of electricity, is based on pure science. We need to throw a rope to this inflatable boat of knowledge. And the only way we can do this is by reading books, watching videos on science, and talking about it, chatting, discussing, debating. Why are we here? Is there a reason we're here? How did we come to be? Where is it all going to? Is aesthetics and equations a reality that is outside of culture? Or is it a product of culture? All these are themes that we should be addressing. Instead of going backwards, is evolution a fact? Is the Big Bang a fact? There are theories. But to juxtapose them to religious systems and beliefs or superstitions is to corrupt knowledge. When I think of my heroes, I think of Einstein and Gandhi and Carl Sagan and Jacques-Yves Cousteau, Charles Darwin, the visionaries that were not only scientists and thinkers, but dreamers as well. Einstein said that imagination is more important than knowledge, and that is my motto. The Sinusoidal Spaghetti is a scientific novel about an astronomer with two rats, his obsession and his psychiatrist. Read the first chapter online at spacegeek.org.